Next example asks us to write the line in general form again, so just like the last problem, uh, that passes through these two points. So what we are missing is the slope. So my first step needs to be find the slope. And we know how to do that. We subtract the y's on top, so 8 minus 5 divided by subtract the x's on bottom, 1 minus negative 2 gives us 3 divided by 3, which gives us 1. Relatively easy slope to work with, that's nice. Um, now we can use point slope. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. My m is over here, it's 1. My point, I can choose either of these points. It doesn't matter which one I choose to be the x1, y1. They're both going to result in the same answer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So I'd have y minus 5 equals 1 x minus negative 2. So that's y minus 5 equals having the 1 in front of the parentheses is um, not necessary, so I'm just going to drop the parentheses, x plus 2. Um, now, let's remember, to get into general form, I want no fractions. And right now, I have no fractions. That's a good thing, so I don't have to deal with that. The other thing I want is I want variables on the same side, x to be positive. The x is already positive here, so I need to bring this y over. I need to bring this 2 so 2's cancel, y's cancel, get negative 7 equals x minus y. Uh, if you'd like to rewrite it so the variables are on the left, it would be x minus y equals negative 7. Finally in this section I want to talk a little bit about parallel and perpendicular lines real briefly. Um, parallel lines we know are two lines that never intersect. Okay, they would look like this. Um, if they're never going to intersect, that means that they have the same slope. The slope of one is the same as the other because they're going to have the same rise over run. Now, on the other hand, perpendicular lines, I think we know what perpendicular lines are, they intersect at a right or 90 degree angle. So they look something like this. They make a right angle right there. Um, now, obviously, their slopes are different, okay? Um, clearly, they're different because one has a positive slope. It goes up from left to right. The other has a negative slope. It's coming down from left to right, okay? So what can we say about the slopes? We can say the slopes have opposite signs, okay? That will always be true, and the slopes are reciprocals. Opposites and reciprocals. Okay. Example would be if one slope, say the slope of line one is three halves, then the slope of line two would be negative, because this one's positive, and it would be two thirds. This example asks us to find the equation for a line that passes through this point and is parallel to this line. Um, if it's parallel, that means it's going to have the same slope as this line. So the first thing I have to do is find the slope of this line. To find the slope of this line, I need to solve it for y. That's easiest to do if I just add the y to the other side. So that would give us y on this side, or y equals, and just 2x on that side. 
So that would tell us that the slope is 2. Now that's the slope that we are going to use in our line. So we're going to use point slope y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Our point is 2, 5, so y minus 5 equals our slope 2, then x minus the x, which is 2. Um, distribute the 2. So we have y minus 5 equals 2x minus 4. We can add the 5 across, giving us y equals 2x plus 1. This last example is somewhat similar to the previous one, uh, except we are asked to find an equation of a line passing through a point that's perpendicular to this line. If it's perpendicular, that means the slopes will be interpreted a little bit differently, but we still have to start the same way. We have to find the slope. Okay, so I'm going to find the slope by solving this for y. Let's rewrite it over here. I'm going to begin by adding 3x to both sides. giving me 3y equals 3x plus 1, divide by 3, giving me y equals 1x plus 1 third. This is my slope. Now I want perpendicular, so I want opposite reciprocal slope. So my perpendicular slope I want going to be opposite sign of positive 1, which is negative 1, and I want the reciprocal of 1, which is 1. So that's the slope that I'm going to use. Okay. Now let's go into point slope. y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So that'd be y minus the y value, 4 equals slope negative 1, x minus 0. So we get y minus 4 equals negative x. To solve this, we just need to add 4 to both sides, giving us y equals negative x plus 4.